Hey guys, welcome back to Maker's Corner. Today, I wanna to talk about Bamboo Lab's recent announcement of their Vortex system. Now, Bamboo Lab has been enjoying being pretty much front and center in the spotlight since 2022, when they announced their X1 series printers. They pretty much came out of nowhere with a machine that frankly shook the entire 3D printing industry. Fast, reliable, multi-material printing with amazing quality at a price that, while a bit higher than what most people at the time were used to paying, was still pretty fair for what they were offering. Since then, they've released a few other models, the A-series, P-series, and the now H-series, some being a little cheaper and some being significantly more expensive. Looking at you, H2D. Regardless, Bamboo Lab has gone three long years without any real competition to threaten their dominance at the top of the food chain. That, however, appears to be changing. Companies like Creality, Anycubic, Elegoo, Chidi, Prusa, and many more have been desperately trying to play catch up over the years. And regardless of your personal feelings towards any of those brands, they are in fact actually starting to catch up. But Bamboo Lab now has other competition on the horizon from companies like Bontech and Snapmaker that are getting ready to rain down on their parade. And Bamboo Lab seems to be getting worried. Let's get one thing very clear. Their recent announcement of Vortec and the upcoming H2C is not something they wanted to do anytime soon. But Bamboo Lab's been put into a very awkward situation. With poor sales of the H2D and the somewhat lackluster reception to the H2S, not to mention all the recent controversy around some of Bamboo's less than popular decisions lately, combined with the massive excitement over the Snapmaker U1 and Bontex Index system, they were forced to do damage control to try and maintain their spot as the industry leader. See, the Vortex system is something that they likely wanted to keep in their back pocket for as long as possible. 3D printing is rapidly reaching the point where it's going to become more and more difficult to innovate and create new and exciting products for consumers. We're at the point where not much more can be done to improve these printers, while also maintaining all the creature comforts that the general consumer expects. A good parallel to this would actually be the GPU market. Companies like Nvidia have pretty much gotten to the point where raw computational power is maxed out. They can't really add more. So they're now relying on AI and machine learning tricks to squeeze every last ounce of performance out of their products. And the same thing is starting to happen to 3D printing as well. We're approaching the physical limits of what's even possible. Is there still innovation that can be done on the hobbyist slash tinkerer side? Yeah, absolutely. We've always got stuff we can do. But when it comes to the general average consumer or prosumer markets, I hate to say it, but I think all companies, including Bamboo Lab, are starting to run out of ideas because, well, there just aren't many left that can be actually achieved and implemented in a consumer product. So could this recent announcement from Bamboo Lab mark the beginning of the end of their absolutely undeniable dominance as the market leader? With other companies rapidly playing catch up, it's going to be really interesting to see how Bamboo Lab handles things going forward, especially with a lot of them offering printers that are honestly pretty darn good and fairly comparable to something that you could get from a Bamboo Lab product, but at prices that Bamboo Lab just frankly won't even touch. And let's get one thing very, very clear here. Even though we don't have official pricing just yet, the H2C is going to be a very expensive printer. If you think the H2D is overpriced, oh boy, wait until you see the H2C. It's probably gonna be relegated to the print farm people and the prosumer slash I've got more money than brains category. But enough of that, let's talk about what we actually know about the Vortec and the upcoming H2C. So the Vortec system was designed specifically for the H series of printers, the H2D and the H2S. Vortec, in addition to being something that will be built into the H2C, is also going to be an add-on that can be retrofitted onto existing H2D and H2S printers at a, as of yet, undisclosed price. That being said, Bamboo Lab has kind of hinted that they'd rather people just wait for the H2C, as they imply that the upgrade kit is going to be a fairly involved process that, uh, not to sound like one of those guys, but 
Uh, frankly, it might just be a little more than what the average Bamboo Lab customer can handle. If you do choose to go the upgrade path instead of just waiting for the H2C itself, it seems like the H2D will be able to have seven different nozzles for different materials and colors, while the H2S will have up to six. Now, of course, this is only for no purge printing. If you're okay with a bit of purging, then both machines will still get the full 24 colors. It uses inductive heating to quickly get the nozzle up to operating temperatures in as little as eight seconds. And it uses wireless technology for things like temperature probes and nozzle tracking, which I personally think is really cool. Uh, not so much the inductive side, that's we've seen that with Bontech Index, but the wireless stuff, I know some people are probably gonna think, great, more proprietary stuff, but hang on, just hear me out for a second. Uh, pogo pins or any type of connector is gonna wear out over time, especially on something like an AMS. It's gonna be swapped so much, you don't want connectors. Connectors wear out. So the fact that they've gone the wireless route here is something that even as someone who doesn't really care for proprietary stuff, and let's be honest, it's probably gonna be very proprietary. I wouldn't be expecting third-party alternatives um, anytime soon. I still think it's a really good direction that they went in. Now, Bamboo Lab has stated that Vortec will be available in Q4 of 2025, which means absolutely nothing. You see, we don't know if they mean calendar year 2025 or fiscal year 2025, and since Bamboo Lab is a private company, we don't actually know when their fiscal year starts and ends, so who knows. If it ends up being Q4 2025 of the calendar year, then we should be seeing something here very shortly in the next couple of months. If it's Q4 2025 of their fiscal year, like I said, we don't know officially when their fiscal year is, but from talking to some trusted sources, uh, it seems like we might be seeing it more towards March of 2026. So hopefully Bamboo Lab will clarify this a little bit because I know a lot of people are probably super excited thinking it's going to be this year when there's a chance it might actually be next year. While parts of this video may seem like I've been dunking on Bamboo Lab a little bit here and there, that's actually far from what I really intended to do. See, I actually love my Bamboo Lab printer, and granted, in full disclosure, as a maker and DIY enthusiast, I'm not a big fan of their whole Apple-like approach with their closed ecosystem, and I'll be honest, that part actually really does bother me a lot, especially considering how much of their company has been built upon the success of open source projects and software. It just seems a little meh. But that being said, I still use my trusty P1S as my main workhorse printer because, well, it just works. Well, most of the time. And it's also the reason why anytime somebody asks me what they should get as their first 3D printer, I always end up suggesting a Bamboo Lab printer because, well, as I just said, it most of the time just works, and for a new user, that's really what they want. So for my part, I really do hope that Bamboo Lab ends up succeeding with Vortec and the upcoming H2C. Because with less innovation, there's less competition. Less competition means less options. So Bamboo Lab, do us proud, and please make this a good product. So guys, what do you think? Is Vortex the next big thing, or is Bamboo Lab just scrambling to remain relevant? And if you want to see more videos like this or don't want to miss out on any of my awesome DIY projects, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help, and I greatly appreciate each and every one of you that does so. And one last thing before we go, I will be traveling to Bel Air, Maryland at the end of September for 3D Printopia. So I will be there covering the entire event, and if you've got any questions that you want me to ask of any of the brands that are there, I will be interviewing them, and I have no issues asking them the hard questions especially your hard questions. So leave a comment down below if there's something you'd like me to ask any particular company that's going to be there. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.